This week we're testing the uh, Mercedes EQS SUV. SUV. Because we, for some reason, we couldn't get our hands on the uh, EQS. Yeah. So we're stuck with the SUV this week. That's fine. It's it's not bad. From no, no. We just started testing it. So yeah, it's the first day we have it today. Uh, it's it's a big vehicle, but it doesn't feel that big when you're behind the wheel, except for the brakes. Yeah, the brakes are. Uh, I I wish I would start stopping or start braking uh, quicker or, mm -hmm. or faster. For sure. Stop tapping on the table. Um, except from that, I think the thing that stands out the most about that car is the interior. What do you think about it? The interior is uh, glamorous. That's the first word it's that comes. beautiful. The huge screen that goes from the left. Pretty much the whole... Uh, the, the whole front part is a screen. Mm -hmm. It's three different screens. So you have your main cluster as a screen. Then you have a huge infotainment. Stop tapping on the table. I like to tap on the table. You have to stop. No, I got to stop. Uh, do, do we restart? or no, that's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, the screens. Yeah, the screens are huge. Uh, the, inf uh, the infotainment goes from pretty much takes the whole middle. Mm -hmm. uh, of the vehicle and we'll put some photos and this time we actually won't forget to put the photos mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, if you're watching on YouTube as you can see right now it looks great mm -hmm. it's a great looking infotainment uh, you don't see it that much when you use CarPlay because it has to stay in the, it's uh, compressed in, a little yeah. bit but if you use the map we'll, we'll show it again if you use the map from Mercedes it looks amazing and I, I used it downtown in Montreal mm -hmm. and um uh, you see a 3D uh, image of certain of the buildings. Well, that's pretty so, cool. So uh, nice. if you're looking for something or you need some guidance to find yourself where you are, especially in a busy, busy city as, as Montreal, mm -hmm. it's really useful. Or if you're looking cool. for a specific icon, uh, iconic uh, <coughs> place. That's pretty cool. Um, apart from that, we're going to review it. We're going to post uh, the review, the photos on uh, on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to talk about what we what we tested in the last few weeks. So if you want to go ahead. Yeah, we've tested recently four vehicles. Uh, we'll actually talk on YouTube only about three because one of them we're not allowed to talk about on YouTube. Can we say which one? We can say. Go ahead. It's the Polestar 2. We're not allowed to talk to you about it on YouTube. So uh, whoever is listening on uh, Spotify or any other podcast media, you'll be able to hear and uh, we'll, you'll be able, uh, uh, we'll explain everything. Uh, our, mm -hmm. or so we're going to have to cut it off from YouTube because they don't want us to post on YouTube. I don't know why it's part of the contract. It's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're watching on YouTube, you want to know about uh, the Polestar Go on Spotify, go on Apple Apple Music, Apple Podcast, sorry. Uh, it's it's going to be available there. Um, we tested <coughs> a yellow car. Very expensive yellow car. Yeah, it was uh, $93,000. And um, from that, just a color mm -hmm. was $13,000 Canadian naturally, yeah. uh, which is a special color that's not available uh, like that. But it's... Uh, uh, the name of it, I, if I can recall it, it's Speed Yellow. Mm -hmm. It looked, I'm going to say, it, we tested the Porsche Macan T. T, yeah. Uh, looked great. It was amazing to drive. And and it, it's amazing, even though that it's considered uh, a step up from a base model, from a pa base mm -hmm. Macan, because the Macan T is just above the base model. Um, so you have a two liter turbo engine in it, uh, that makes, uh, 261 horsepower and 295, uh, pound feet of torque, mm -hmm. uh, which is good for like 6.2 seconds. If I'm not wrong, um, it feels faster. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it those, feels faster than it is. It, the, sure. Those numbers are, are pretty much, uh, underrated. I, I, I don't believe, uh, but, um, but it's true. Yeah. And consumption was it was fine. I mean, you don't buy a Porsche <laughs> looking at 
consumption, that's for sure. I think we, we averaged 14.4 mm-hmm. liters uh, within a 500 kilometer range that we had the Makes vehicle sense. for. Again, we, we were not soft with the vehicle. We, we 87 gas, right? No, no, 91. 91? Yeah, it's 91, but it actually suggests 94. Yeah. But you don't find 94 everywhere. For sure. But the the sound of it was oh, wow. it's it's just beautiful. It doesn't sound like a two liter. Did, did we record it? I don't know if we you recorded. If it. we did, we'll we'll add it or did we'll you, uh, yeah add some sound. We'll, we'll we'll try to find it. it sounds great. It it sounds delicious for a two liter turbo four cylinder. It just because we 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 test some big cars and at one twenty it doesn't feel great to drive. This one felt amazing at one twenty one thirty even more. Felt amazing to drive. It it, it the, the adjustable dampers are, are just amazing as well. Mm-hmm. It gives a, a, a luxurious feeling um, to the vehicle. It's honestly, if you're looking for a sporty SUV, uh, it's it's the it, it's a steep price ninety three thousand dollars for the vehicle as tested. For sure, but it's it's worth it. Uh, it might sound and you, you buy a badge. Yeah, you buy you buy the badge because. You could get an Audi, but it, 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 it's not, it's the, not same. the same refinement. It's, it's not, not the same refinement as S- SQ5 or, or a more powerful Q5. Mm-hmm. It, it's just not. Um, it's not the same thing. No, for sure, you're not gonna see. And and if ever somebody tells you, oh, it's just a, a, a badge upgrade, no, it's not just the badge. It's, it's everything. Not. It's that the handling, the yeah. suspension, uh, the stiffness of of the chassis. Everything. It's a combination of everything. Mm-hmm. So, would you recommend for the Porsche? Mm-hmm. I recommend it. Great. Uh, you can also find the review for that one pretty soon. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll photos be are up. Uh, car looked amazing. We'll add the photos to the to the video. Uh, if you're not watching on YouTube, go check Instagram. Go check Facebook. Um, Even pho- Reddit. Yeah, photos are there. Looks great. I was really happy to shoot that one. Yeah. Uh, speaking of cars that don't handle speed well, what else? What, what else did we test? We uh, tested uh, Range Rover um, long wheelbase, mm-hmm. and it's uh, to be correct, uh, per- specific. It's the P five hundred thirty, and um, it, it's a luxurious boat. Uh, I think yeah. it, the starting price was uh, this is this is the starting price. Ours was had a, a few options. The starting price is one hundred sixty thousand dollars. Pocket change. Mm-hmm. Felt great though. Yeah, uh, not at high speeds. I did not like driving that at one twenty. <laughs> uh, didn't do it. I did it once. I think I was like, okay, that's enough. It, uh, I felt it. I felt like I was going one fifty, even though I wasn't even close to it. No, it's it's a big vehicle. <clears throat> the long wheel base. Uh, cha- what what. Is added is the additional two seats in the back, and is the um, the back doors are humongous. Uh, yeah, they really open ninety degrees. It really gives you a, a huge uh, access point to the vehicle, um, and it, it it almost feels like a limousine, but an it SUV yeah. limousine. You, how can I say that? You you look serious coming out of that car. Yeah. You, it, it, it almost feels like a car that you need to be chauffeured around and not yeah. drive. You don't drive it. You're being mm-hmm. chauffeured around. And it's funny. It, it, it's so big. We had it at the same time as the Polestar, a new wash, wash boat, mm-hmm. one right after the other. It was like three times as long to wash the Range Rover than the Polestar. Yeah, and it's, the height of it as yeah. well, it's huge. You don't. You cannot access the, the roof. Mm-hmm. You have to put it in the lowest setting because, again, it has adjustable dampers as well. Um, if you put it in off-road two mode, mm-hmm. it's pretty much impossible to touch the roof. Oh, you really sure. have to press on the access mode, which it was lowers. huge. You can see it on the photo we're going to put it on the screen. Mm. It's so high up. Uh, looks it looks amazing. Honestly, I loved driving it at lower speeds. Uh, love photographing it as well. It looks amazing. The interior looks great. Uh, but it just felt like there was a couple of things missing for it. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, at a car at that price, that starting price, starting price that's meant to be luxurious, some things were missing, like massaging seats. I, I think for a starting price at that, 
category in that type of category of price mm -hmm. should almost be like the EQS has it. Mm -hmm. It's around the same price. It's not the same kind of car for sure, but no, but it, it should be automatically optioned. At least, if if not the front seats, because it's a long wheel based version and probably will be used to be chauffeured around. Mm -hmm. At least the back seats. Yeah. To have some sort of massaging seat, mm -hmm. um, I think that for that price, it's it's a big miss for for a Range Rover. Mm -hmm. Anything else that that was missing? Um, I don't recall. You you had mentioned something. I think. Uh, I'm not sure. I I feel like it should be easier to handle. Uh, the driving was not that great, but. It's a big it, car. It's a big car. And I think it there's a limit to what you can do for something that huge. And it sends a lot of its power to the rear wheels. Mm -hmm. So it feels like a sports car on, on stilts. Yeah, it's a, it's a sport boat. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, that's exactly, you know what? That's exactly what it is. But it was fun. It was fun to drive. Oh, yeah. um, for sure, if you're looking for something not that big, you're not going to get the long base. Uh, no, the long wheel base is just I mean, too much, personally, for, 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 yeah. for everyone. Yeah. Like you said, that's something you get show for a while. And um, zero to sixty or zero to hundred kilometers was four point eight seconds. For or a car that big, it's yeah. so good. We, we do have the sound of that one. We'll uh, we'll add it in post. Um, I'm gonna give you a few seconds just to listen to it. Uh, as as you can hear, it sounds amazing. And it's and, and it's a supercharged V8, mm -hmm. which is sourced actually from BMW. Mm -hmm. um, so BMW is known to make great engines, and, and it is a great engine as well. And it provides a lot of low end torque. Um, it's just stunning. And and surprisingly, the fuel economy of the vehicle wasn't as bad as I expected for such a big vehicle. It was the same as a TRX, if I don't uh, if I remember it's, right. It's actually lower than the TRX. Oh, really? We averaged 19.9 liters per 100 kilometers. Pretty good. Again, it's premium gas. Mm -hmm, for sure. And, uh, you know, we've driven it in, in, in a sporty, at least I have uh, mm -hmm. driven it in a sporty way. And uh, I, I will not deny that I drove it sportly. <laughs> I had fun with it. It was fun car. It's a fun car, and uh, Marco, <coughs> which is another member of this podcast, you will, which you will see at a later point, in in a couple episodes, um, he drove it smoothly as smoothly as possible, and he averaged on the highway nine point nine liters. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, it's like really driving good. 100 kilometers smoothly. Uh, I think that's the way you should be driving it. <laughs> it's not the way he always drives, but. <laughs> True, true. Neither do we. No. Let's be honest. Uh, three, three good things, three bad things. Um, it, it's, it sure is off-road capable. Mm -hmm. uh, we just didn't test it. Uh, I'm scared. I'm not sure I would do it. Uh, or 200, a little 000. bit like the Defender. Uh, it's, it was great off-road. I would mm. never take it off-road. No, we actually did take it off road, but but I, it's not hard, so it's no, fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but yeah, you know, I drove it over snow a little bit just to see how it felt. Mm -hmm. But it, I'm sure it, it, it just drives amazingly. If you did have to drive it off road mm -hmm. uh, to uh, to your hunting club or uh, to your golf club, where mm -hmm. there's no roads or whatsoever, um, two more, two more. Um, Interior, kind of the interior. Kind of uh, the interior was okay. Even though some things are missing, it looked. I think it looked great. The it, screen it, was. I like the the curved screen that you can find in Range Rover and Land Rover and Jaguar. Yeah, Jaguar. Yeah. One more thing. One more thing. Um, I think the roominess of the back doors uh, was amazing. That's fair. Three things you didn't like. The price, <laughs> kind of obvious. Um, we can say that for pretty much a lot of cars. A lot of cars. The, the uh, Corvette was well, actually the Corvette was great for the price, but uh, it's a deal. It's a yeah. steal for, for, for. We'll talk about this one. Uh, time. Um, you know what? It should be a hybrid, and which it isn't. Um, they they have a, a plug-in hybrid that's coming out soon. So, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to test. So that's gonna be interesting to see how it performs. Um, 
Yeah, and the, and the fuel economy at the same time, it, mm -hmm. it isn't great. It can be great, but it can be so bad so easily. Yeah, because you push it a little bit and you're above 25 liters mm -hmm. if, if you easily. push it a little bit. more. If you want to have fun with it, you're going to pay a lot. Yeah, and it's pretty... I, I, felt, I felt like that if I was flooring the, the gas, I could see the... It's uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, I said 20 bucks. You can see the, uh, the, the fuel... Just going down. It, it, you know what? Sometimes when I accelerated, it felt like the fuel gauge was just like moving Yeah, around. I feel that. I, all right, one more thing before we move to the next car. I, I think it is premium gas. Uh, yeah, it, it's the premium uh, premium uh, gas that it requires as mm -hmm. well. It goes up so quickly in price. Yeah. How much did you pay to, to fuel, to completely fuel it? Uh, I, I think we have a video, but I don't know if we can add it uh, to that mm -hmm. where we were filming um for 500 kilometers, it was $150 at, at Costco. So that was at discounted prices, yeah. at better prices, and that's 91 octane as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so Ford car, last one we tested. The last recently. car it was the uh, Volvo XC40, which we talked a bit on the previous podcast because mm -hmm. we did the, the uh, road trip with it. Um, the specific, the new thing about it is that now it's called the B5. Mm -hmm. The B stands for battery but it's not a fully electric or, or a hybrid per se that in a standard way, it's mm -hmm. a mild hybrid. So a 48 volt system. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> it, it's a great vehicle. Uh, it, I think it makes it more fuel efficient because the, uh, the T5 was quite fuel hungry. Mm -hmm. Um, the all wheel drive system on Volvos are, are just amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, interior was beautiful as well. Simplistic, um, like the Polestar Air 2 that we were talking about. Uh, it was great to see, uh, Apple, uh, CarPlay and, uh, um, Android mm -hmm. Auto, mm -hmm. uh, but it's wired. It's not wireless. So yeah, we see that in a few cars right now. It's. And, and there's a charging pad. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just, you know, offer everything at the same time? I don't know why. It's definitely not a cost reason. We see it in the Ionic 5 and EV6 as well. Mm -hmm. It has to be wired. Mm -hmm. it's so and that I'd be curious probably hardware. Reason, yeah. and probably it's hardware. In, in the if, you, if you know the reason, because I think I read something about uh, copyrights or I don't know. If you know the reason why so many cars don't have it wireless, let us know. I, I want to know. The Porsche had the wireless uh, yeah. CarPlay. I mean, you expect that. Can you imagine having to plug your your phone in a Porsche? <laughs> but it no, was, I'm not was, talking about Kia. What was great about Apple CarPlay, uh, Porsche and BMW were one of the first brands that actually had wireless CarPlay. That's cool. Which um, yeah. one it was a premium feature. Yeah, exactly. When you know people were still plugging in their phone and it was like, oh, wow, I can, actually, I can actually use CarPlay in my vehicle. That's when they actually had it already wireless. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Um, we actually tested something else last, last week. Yeah, I got to test the Mustang uh, Mackie. The third uh, one we get to test. Yeah, we had uh, the first edition mm -hmm. in blue, which is just uh, over there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll pop the photos on the screen. Uh, the GT. The GT. Which was also yellow. Yeah, which was yellow as well. It was a car. And we tested it in the winter. Mm -hmm. Performances were, because of the cold weather, we couldn't see the actual performances. Mm -hmm. But this time around, we had... Uh, the uh, small battery, mm -hmm. all-wheel drive, um, with an actual range of 330 kilometers, mm -hmm. which is for the small battery, which is decent. Uh, again, winter. Um, Do winter you have the price for the small battery? I don't have it. Uh, we'll pop we'll, it on the screen. Uh, we'll, we'll find it. Uh, we'll have the price, but I found that it's interesting, especially that it's eligible for the discounts mm -hmm. in Canada for the uh, EV rebates. Um, it's a good vehicle for somebody that lives in a, in a city and doesn't have to drive very far. Um, it, it still has 330 kilometers, but for ro long road trips, the uh, the bigger battery is is better. Mm -hmm, for sure. Um, what else can I say? Look great. Uh, we used to see a lot of black on black. I, f I feel like this is fading a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's almost white on white. We don't see a lot of that. No, white on white. It was... 
different. We don't see the mags that are painted white and the vehicle that's white but metallic. That, mm -hmm. That's that's something uh, we uh, we don't see very often. Yeah, go, go check the photos. I didn't take it this time, and I did. Uh, looks great. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> I feel like I I trained you so well. Good. Uh, talk, talking about photos. Uh, that's something that you know I've gotten asked question about. You know, <clears throat> what are the type of vehicles that you like to take photos of? Hmm. Like like three vehicles you really enjoy taking uh, photos. I'll give you one better. I'll, I'll say my favorite of three different ca ca categories. Off roll, which is probably my favorite thing to shoot. Uh, I gotta give it to the four by e. The photo is right there. I'll pop it on screen as well. Great looking car. It was so fun to drive off road. Uh, we're gonna drive it a lot more because you just ordered it. You're not actually you're about to receive it. I ordered it last year. It took over a year, so we're gonna test it a lot more. We're gonna destroy your four by e. Is we're not gonna destroy it. <laughs> it's it's a mall crawler. It's a high altitude uh, with twenty inch <laughs> tires, no off road tires. It's um, that can be changed. It I'll can be. I'll convince you eventually. No, no, no. It's it's a mall crawler, and I assume it totally. Um, but it will be used for our photo shoots. No, definitely. We really wanted a, a car that the back window can open. We that's that's the car we used to film the the Taycan, the, Taycan. the Porsche Taycan. That's how we did the photos. That of the video Porsche. looks so good. I'll pop it on the screen. It looks amazing. Is I, that one of the vehicles you enjoyed uh, taking photos as well? The the Taycan. Yeah. Yeah, but if I have to say my favorite sport car. This one, uh, the, the Corvette Corv looks amazing. Number one, in my opinion, for that price, I don't think you can beat it. No, I, I can't wait for, um, for to, to, to actually test drive if we can the E Ray, mm -hmm. which is the hybrid all wheel drive system um, for the Corvette. So that could be interesting as well. Definitely more performance <clears throat> and potentially fuel economy, a better mm -hmm. fuel economy. Because I remember, Do you know the price Come. for the uh, for the E-Ray. I don't know. I don't think the prices are official yet at okay. this time. But for sure, if we can actually test it, we'll do a lot about that car. We've mm -hmm. got to talk about it. I want. I want to make a v an actual like video of the Corvette. Was there any complexity uh, taking photos of the Corvette? Uh, except from the fact that we got kicked out from our location. We went on the top of a building, of a uh, parking building which we got kicked out of because we cannot take photos there. Except from that, no, it was pretty yeah. easy. It was fun. And, and the 4 by e was there any difficulties uh, taking photos of it? Uh, actually, I just found difficulties for both. Um, for the 4 by e well, you splash me with the water. That wasn't, I want to say it was not fun, but actually it kind of was. Uh, the Corvette, it was so, not as a car outside. Yeah. Uh, for the Corvette, it was, so small inside it was hard to find space yeah we had to take off the roof yeah uh make it convertible and then kind of try to go on the vehicle to actually take the photos of the interior which was quite challenging mm -hmm. and we had actually Worth somehow it though yeah, yeah we, we had, had audrey help us thank you audrey it was it was it was worth it the photos are amazing and last category i'm gonna say family car the carnival. The carnival? I think the carnival is my, f even though it's a minivan and I hate minivan. <laughs> the fact that I thought like, I would actually daily drive this one. Mm -hmm. It was so convenient and it looked good. The carnival looked great. It's, it's a great looking vehicle. I think it's the most useful family car you can get if you can get over the fact that it's a minivan. They don't call it a minivan, but, but it is, it, it is honest, a, yeah. Um, again, that's it's that's another vehicle that I find it's a miss because if you look at the competition, uh, the Toyota Sienna mm -hmm. is available hybrid and all-wheel yeah. drive. M make it plug in hybrid, or, or at least hybrid. And and or, can, can you imagine? Because it's the car you're going to use to take your kids to 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 their to sports, any practice. yeah, to their practice, to to school. And I, I, I like not having to pay for gas to do the the. The basic, yeah, the school, even the school run, because mm -hmm. in the school run you just do a couple of miles and. Uh, uh, but it, it adds. It, it, it adds, adds up. up. If it you adds. have a, if you have three four kids, 
you have to go to practices, to school, everything. It adds up. And that's where I think the Chrysler Pacifica really shines because you have, when we tested it, I, we, we almost had 50 kilometers of range. Mm -hmm. So if you it's have- still a great caravan though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's still a, a, it's missing a, some some things. Yeah, but it's still a useful range for electric. And if you do need to do a road trip, you still have the gas engine, which you know is mm -hmm. perfect. It was fun to drive, uh, really useful. Again, there, there's two cars I love getting. It's pickup trucks and minivans because that's when I actually buy. Uh, that's when I buy bigger stuff because I can. I I have a way to move them around because it's not possible in my Civic. Mm -hmm. So it's fun to get those cars. It's always really useful. And I think n now that we talked about the vehicles that you actually like to shoot, which ones did you dislike, if we can uh, use that oh, word? Man. What was the Honda minivan again? The Pilot? Oh. No, that, that's the SUV. Oh, uh, you're right, you're the, right. The, um, um, not, um, so the, the Honda minivan was... I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. It was terrible. It looks so bad, in my opinion. It looks, even the interior. It looks dated. It looks really dated. Um, another one that we didn't shoot, but I got to test it recently because of my friend. Um, Mitsubishi, the interior, um, the one I, I don't remember which one. It was. RVR? Uh, no, it was not the RVR. Maybe it was. The interior looks really dated as well. Mm. It was, I think, I think it was a sixty-five thousand dollar car because it's a lot of options, but the interior looks like a two thousand and eight Civic, like a Mitsubishi, uh, two thousand eighteen. Uh, yeah, Mitsubishi, like Outlander, maybe. Or? Yeah, it was the Outlander. There you okay, go. okay, Outlander. The interior looks like a two thousand eighteen Civic. The screen doesn't look like what it should look. In uh, we've actually have one of um, one of our. Um, Long-term test cars is the Mitsubishi Outlander, but it's a 2022 model. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think that it looks that bad inside. Uh, I feel like it should look better. They they have the plug-in hybrid version that we will be getting to test soon as well. Mm -hmm. So that will be interesting to see. Uh, see if it's better than the version it used to be because one specific thing about that PHEV model was that the moment you turn on the heat, the no gas, PHEV. no PHEV. What's the point? In, in, in Quebec, doesn't make sense for us. It's winter, no. 11 months a year. So. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Not 11 months a year, but most of the year, you're going to use the heater. So. Mm -hmm. uh, if I had to say another one, it's hard. It's always fun to photograph cars. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's hard to... To discredit one vehicle. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think about the cheapest car we had, probably the, the Elantra and the, the Rio. The, the Rio. Did you enjoy taking photos of the Rio? It was fine. I was yeah. happy to see what you could get for that price. Yeah. It's... I feel like you, sh you should see that car on the road a lot more because everything is so expensive right now. The interest, we just... Uh, the, did they officially announce the interest for the Prius? They haven't, but on the hybrid version, it's like 8.69 on the regular hybrid. So it's going to be a, it's, it's um, a lot. It's, it's a lot. so hard to buy a brand new car right now. Even when I was looking at in the used, it's over 10%. Yeah. Even with a good credit. So yeah. And I think that, that that's not the real. case anymore. 10% is like uh, a regular 4 by e mm -hmm. now. The interest rate is 9.99. It's 10%. For a new vehicle yeah. lease, it's hard to f think of a car that's not fun to photograph. Even the the, the real was nothing was amazing about it, and mm -hmm. that's probably what was good about it. Is you can still buy a car in twenty twenty three that doesn't have anything of the big stuff, so you can still get for kind of cheap twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollar. I feel like it's and and people. People uh, looked at the photos because we have the back end stats of, of, mm -hmm. of those. People still interacted with them and people still sent me questions about it. For so, sure. you know, you would expect, you know, posting a Porsche gives you a, a million and, uh, and one. Uh, but not everyone can get a Porsche. Yeah. That's the thing. It's uh, a dream car, but yeah. 
people actually want to know sometimes on on cheaper well, or more accessible. Go, I can't even afford the, the Rio, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Photographer, you know, doesn't make any money, but the Elantra was so good as well. You loved the Elantra. Probably, yeah, that's probably like the second cheapest car we ever tried. The N-Line? But not the N-Line, but the yeah. Elantra. The base the, 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 yeah. Elantra, yeah, probably, it, it, you get a lot for your money on the Elantra. Yeah, I, f I feel like Hyundai is doing an amazing job with their cars. You get so much for the price. It, the cheapest car we tested was pr pretty much the Rio last year. Mm -hmm. um, After that, I think it was the Elantra. The Elantra is probably the second. Mm -hmm. But I cannot say any other car that didn't engine. That's not true. Uh, the first Range Rover actually shot, but that, that has nothing to do with the car. It's the fact that I decided to shoot it at 6 in the morning in the winter. It was minus 38 degrees. See, we, we are, we're getting somewhere now. Shooting in the winter to, make, to get those beautiful that's pictures. It, Th that, it that's what happens when you like what you do, when you love what you yeah. do. Uh, it's, it's getting your problem to my girlfriend uh, we went to Cuba recently mm -hmm. she was pissed that I had my camera all the time because <laughs> but for, for me it's not working mm -hmm. it's part of who I am I love taking photos all the time ended up being a great trip got some nice photos I got some nice cars and photos as well yeah there was some uh, old old time Cadillacs as yeah, well and Bel Airs it's, it's so funny because Bel Airs over there are just the, the body of a Bel Air, but with the engine of a, of a Hyundai. It's <laughs> really funny. They're, they're still they're still living in the... 50s and 60s, just before the crisis. Yeah, but they're pimping their car so much. Okay. That's something we stopped doing like what, it's 15 true. years ago. It's true because... And there's still so much in that. It's because their, their chassis are in good shape. They don't have, this, mm -hmm. they don't have the, the uh, salt or the mm -hmm. calcium that uh, corrodes the vehicles. So you can build around an old vehicle. And it's going to last for so long, mm. for sure. But yeah, that's the only three cars I can say that I did not enjoy shooting. So yeah, I think it's going to be it for today. Our camera just died because we're tra trying something today. We're recording in 8K. I will not uh, post it in 8K on YouTube for sure. It's going to take forever and my computer is going to die. My camera is actually so hot right now. I'm surprised it didn't turn off before because I remember we had we were filming I think in the summer with but we were filming 4K mm -hmm. with the uh, Ford uh, Maverick and the camera overheated. Yeah, uh, so 8K, fun, <laughs> but not for podcast. Yeah, we'll see how it comes out. Yeah, it was just a test. It's gonna be fun. Uh, except from that, we're gonna test some new fun cars in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. EQS right now, so stay tuned. Yeah, stay the, tuned on the EQS. The next episode. I'm going to talk about it. Uh, might have a guest in the next one. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about it surprise. too much. But yeah, surprise guest. will be fun. So give, a, give us a like, follow. Uh, follow is a, the most important. Yeah, leave a and comment like. if you have anything to say about the podcast. Really appreciate it. That, that's all you, had, you get to help. Your creators, yeah, doesn't cut. It's constructive, so so appreciate it. Um, we'll see you in a few weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.